Hello, my name is Veronica and welcome into the Learning Lab. And in today's lab, we're going to take a look at Anna Griffin's Lovely Layers Cards Set 2. If you've been struggling with this and how to make it work for you, I just might have a few tips that you can use to bring into your own crafting. Come on in and let's get started. Here I put together the envelope and as you can see, I actually embossed the flap before I glued that to the inside. Here's my problem that I was having with these cards. When you come out with this, you have layer one, which looks like this. There's layer two, three, layer four, and you may not be able to see this, but it's the black card, which is layer five. So once you put all of this together, you have one thick card. I didn't like having mine that thick. So what I did was I went into here and where the black would have gone all the way across, I cut that off. So now my card is a little less thick, but trust me, it's still pretty thick. And I didn't like it being that thick. So what I did was went into des design space and came up with a creative way to make it work I have already selected this image from Anna's Lovely Layered Cards 2 set. And the first thing I want to do is ungroup these. So I'm going to select it and say ungroup. Now what it does is it ungroups all of the images. I am not going to be working with this right now. So I'm going over here and hide those to get those out of the way. The next thing it has done is ungrouped all of these. So that's one layer, two layers, three, four, and your base card. I don't need any of those layers, so let's go ahead and hide those. Now, for your base card, because I am separating these and I wanna make them all single layers except for the base card, just remember that whatever color you want to cut it in, that's what you're going to use for the bottom. I usually either do black or white, so we're going to hide all of that. Now, let me bring that back. You cannot change the color of this because it has an operation on it. And in this case, it has a scoring on it. If you took the score out, then you could change this to whatever color you want it to. But just know that if this is your base, you'll cut it in the color of your choice. What we're left with now is this top piece. I don't want any of this part on there. So I'm going to use the slice method to get rid of it. But the first thing I wanna do is duplicate it so that I have the correct size in case I mess this one up. So on this one, first thing I wanna do is get rid of that score line. So I'm going to come up to operation. Let's make this a little bigger. So the first thing I'm going to do is come up to operation and make it just a basic cut. And what that does is give to me a basic cut line. Now the next thing I want to do is bring in a shape. Let's go for the square. And I want to cover up to where that line is. I need it to be taller and longer on both sides. So I'm going to unlock the key and pull this so that I can make it long and so that it will cover everything to the left of that cut line. And let's slide it over as much as we can. Now, what I would encourage you to do is just to take a gander of where, of where this landed. And it landed at about, let's see. If you look, my number says six decimal seven zero eight and decimal two zero eight for the Y axis. That's where I want that to end up. But what I need to do is to get rid of this. So on my bottom piece, I'm going to select it, go down and select detach. Now what that does is detaches that score line from here and I can get rid of it. And it is gone, I no longer need it. I'm going to bring back in my shape and try to get as close to that 6708 as I can. And the 
the Y axis doesn't matter as long as I'm covering here and here, but I know this is in the correct place. So now let's select all of this and I'm going to go down and slice it. Now let's take away the layers we don't need. And that is all of that. I don't need any of it. I'm going to group all of that together and get rid of it. And it is gone. Let's bring my screen back down a little. I no longer need this one because I have what I want, which is right here. The next thing I need to do is go back and bring in all those other layers. And we are going to put those back onto the card. Going to select the entire thing. And now I need to align it to the top and to the right. And that should put everything back into place where it needs to be. Now I no longer have that. Now I no longer have that extra card on the other side. <laughs> My son waits until time I start doing a video <laughs> for him and the dog to decide to fall into the wall whatever okay so now let's go back and get my envelope <laughs> and uh, i'm gonna group those uh together now you can group this also and actually i, I want all of it grouped let's bring that down a little bit and i'm going to group it all because now i want to size it and to do that let's make my screen a little smaller i'm going to pull this out to, I want mine to be eight and a half, which is four and a quarter. So I'm going to pull this up to eight and a half. There we are. I am going to send this to the cutter and then we'll come back and take a look at it. Once you have everything uh, out and organized in the way that you like it, once you are ready to adhere it to your base, remember because you have this extra leftover amount going across here you need to tamp everything down to one side now this base that I'm putting it on is 110 pound a uh, cardstock and if you look you can see that I have a really deep score there and that is because I use the double wheel score and I put it on lightweight chipboard and that's how it gave that to me so I'm going to fold this So that the score is on the inside and one thing I do even though it's scored it I still will take this and butt it up against my scoreboard or I will hold my hand there to press it down with my tool because sometimes it will shift on you so there's my base and then this one is going to be adhered to the top but you'll have to make sure that you glue this side down right on the edge once you have all of your layers put together and then you're going to have a nice fit for your card. So let me get this glued into place and we'll come back and take a look at the finished piece. With this top piece, although this is 65 pound weight paper, I cut it at 80 pound because I didn't want to spend my time doing a lot of picking and it cut everything out cleanly. Just gonna... So I've added some ATG to the back and then I went along the edge with some of my liquid glue. And then because of this at the bottom, I'm gonna put that facing upwards 
onto my card base. And I do like standing it up because that helps me to get everything lined up with the top edge. And that's beautiful, nothing showing through to the other side. Just gonna work in that liquid glue that I have. Okay, and there is our darling card all done. As always, thank you for joining me in the learning lab today. Please be sure to check out my blog at inclusions.blogspot.com. Until then.